Hey guys, welcome to another video, this time storing multiple colonies. My big, beautiful yellow Campanotus maculatus. The ants with the most awesome name ever. Campanotus nicobarensis. And last, but definitely not least, our Campanotus nicobarensis lookalike, but in my opinion a lot more elegant. Campanotus habereri. I'm going to join a hype with these colonies. I will be using Sunburst and I'll add red food coloring and blue food coloring. Normally I'm not that much into all the hypes, but after noticing my red maculatus worker who was filled up with juices from the mouse, I changed my mind. I mean, just look at her. I really wanted to test out blue since I already seen red workers. So I started to mix some sunburst with blue food coloring. I decided to start with my Nicobarensis since I wanted to save the best for last. And the Nicobarensis has a decent amount of workers. They are housed in a simple tubs and tube setup until they get big enough for a decent nest. As soon as I drop the cotton with the blue sunburst into the setup, the first ants start to explore. At first, the ants didn't seem very interested. But one of the workers started to taste it. And as you can see, she is a little bit blue already. As soon as she told her sisters about her find, more and more ants started to join. At first, the workers were pulling on the cotton, or only drink small bits and then take off again. You could see the blue, but it was not what I expected. They just seemed darker instead of sky blue. And when I finally find a worker that's nice and full, it turns out my camera was out of focus. Just my luck. I did manage to capture two workers filling up their gasters and being able to see it getting bigger. Once again, not what I was hoping for, but at least we can see them grow. During filming I noticed a lot of ants were walking back and forth towards a piece of wood next to the test tube. I even spotted some brood. It turns out that a pretty decent amount is nested inside the wood and so my colony is a lot bigger than expected. I think it's time to show you how the Habarari colony responds to the food coloring. This time I will be using red. My Habarari colony is a lot smaller and more shy as well. As soon as I drop the cotton inside the setup, the ants change to an alert state of mind. Curious, but too cautious to leave their test tube. I was excited to see that a worker got past the first ring. Could this be the moment? No. Again. And again. I have been sitting here for over an hour and the ants didn't even leave the test tube. But then suddenly, two workers walked through the test tube without hesitating. Could this be the moment? The ants are getting closer and closer. They even get to taste it for a bit, but nope, they head straight back. I left the room for over an hour hoping they would get outside as soon as the vibration stopped. And this is what I found when I got back. One ant feasting on the goodies. And hey, one ant is better than none. But it was getting late and I saved the massive maculatus colony for the next day. Once again, not as expected, but I knew the maculatus colony would meet up with my expectations. So the next day I gently add the... Oh shoot, I did not do that on purpose, luckily there were no ants below the cotton. I'm going to speed this up, so you can see how quickly the cotton leaked fluids, and how busy the ants were drinking right from the start. As you probably noticed, there are some blue and green ants as well, 
I was curious if the two colors would mix, so I also added some blue food coloring. So the album contains yellow sunburst, blue food coloring, red food coloring. So theoretically speaking, I should get yellow, red, blue, purple, green and orange ants. Some ants stack their colors in layers, like this ant over here. The ants are mostly red, blue and green, and I think it looks pretty amazing. I will definitely will be doing this more often in the future. And I have a pretty nice idea. Since the setup is enormous, I would like to add one color on one side of the setup and one color on the other side. I want to find out if the ants stay in their own region. So, if the blue ants stay close to the big nest to maintain the brood. And if the red ants stay near the big outworld with the castle, which contains brood as well. I think that the left side will stay mostly left and the right side will stay mostly right. I noticed this while feeding. Usually the left side goes to the right and right after they head straight back to the left side. But that's an experiment I would like to keep for next time. I might get different colors as well. I tried a lot of time lapses with these ladies, but they didn't drink fast enough to make a decent time lapse. Or the ants got interrupted while drinking by another ant, so hopefully I will be having more luck next time. And like most of the times, I will add some additional footage for the people that really enjoy watching the ants without hearing me chatter. And for the ones that had enough for now, I would like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching my content, I would appreciate it a lot if you would like, comment and subscribe. Also, I would like to apologize for taking so long to upload. Things here have been really hectic, especially with the holidays and all. The past month I have been recording a lot of footage, so hopefully my next video will be a lot sooner. I made a new setup for my Mesorobarus and my Tetraponera Rufo Nigra. I recorded the entire process and both setups look amazing. All I will have to do now is record both of them moving in, but of course I will upload everything. Also my Capinotus Floridanus will get a new setup. It won't be a do-it-yourself project, but they really need the extra space. And I received two new colonies, which I will show you. So a lot more footage coming up. Make sure you subscribe if you do not want to miss out. Thanks for now and I see you in the next video.